Beef jerky is absolute witch magic. Recently, I've been getting a lot into beef jerky and meat preservation. Now, meat preservation is a really interesting and really old problem. For most of human history, getting enough calories to survive has actually kind of been a challenge. In the modern world, that's not a challenge. You can go get a couple Big Macs uh, and down thousands of calories in a matter of mere minutes. But in the ancient world, getting enough calories is a problem. And so when you hunt an animal and you come home with a 300 pound deer or a 1200 pound bison or something else like that, you have a huge wealth of calories and you don't want to waste it. But the problem is the meat does in fact go bad and you just cannot eat a whole bison by yourself. In fact, you probably can't eat a whole bison in one sitting, even with your whole tribe helping. So what are you gonna do? The answer is basically to dry out the meat. The microbes that spoil food are actually quite a bit like humans. They like a little bit of moisture, they need air, they need something to feed on, and they don't like it too cold and they don't like it too hot. This is why, of course, when you buy steak from the grocery store and bring it home, you put it in the refrigerator. You keep the temperature low enough that it inhibits microbial growth. And then eventually you throw it out on the grill and then you heat it up to a point that it kills all the microbes. But of course, in a pre-modern era, you don't have the option of refrigeration. Remember that most of the microbes that spoil food need water. And so if you can dehydrate it, if you can suck most or all of the water out of it, then that will inhibit the microbial growth. And we still use that today with beef jerky, dried fruit, and lots of other things. This, by the way, is also why crackers will sometimes go stale, but it's very hard for them to go bad. There's just no moisture. There's nothing for the bacteria to drink. Drink. And so, faced with your 1,200 pound bison, what is your solution? The solution is you are going to cut the meat into strips and dry it over a fire. Voila, beef jerky. So, beef jerky is absolute witch science. It's total magic. It makes it so that you can take hundreds of pounds of meat that will spoil tomorrow, and suddenly, it's a portable, light, nutrient-dense food that you can take anywhere and eat anytime. This is such a common solution to the problem of how to store a large quantity of animal meat that dried meat appears in cultures across the world. It's nuts. In fact, our word jerky comes from the word charqui, which is a Quechua word. Quechua is an ancient language that was spoken in Peru and some of the surrounding areas in South America by the Incan Empire and pre-Incan peoples. Aliyah is from Kenya, Bakwa is from China, Biltong is from South Africa, Bogun bo, is from people in Canada. Bortz is from Mongolia. Bressaula is from Italy. Bressi is from France. Brunner Fleisch is from Switzerland. Carne de Sol is from Brazil. Carne Seca is from Mexico. Cachina is from Spain, Cuba, and Mexico. Charqui is from Peru, of course. Uh, chipped beef, Peru and other areas. Um, chipped beef is chipped beef, apparently. Um, Drowars is from South Africa, and that's a sausage, actually. Yeah, that would be dry sausage. That's, uh, that's is that Dutch? For dry yeah. sa sausage. Uh, fenilar is from Norway. Hunter beef is from Pakistan or corned beef. I'm assuming they have like a Pakistani name for it. Uh, then jerky, which is jerky. Uh, kawab is from India. Kilishi is from Nigeria. Kuivaliha is from Finland. Lapme is from South China. Landi or Kadid is from Pakistan, Afghanistan, North Africa. Mipku is from Northern Canada. And that's some kind of uh, Inuit people, it looks like. Pansawan is from the Cree peoples of Western Canada and the Western United States. Uh, Pastirma, excuse me, Pansawan is from the Cree peoples of Western Canada and the United States. Pastirma is from Armenia, Greece, Turkey, and the Balkans. Pemmican is from North America. Pindang is from the Philippines. Po is from Korea. Suho Meso is from Bosnia. Sukuti is from Nepal. Waliser Roshinkan is from Switzerland. Dried meat. Everyone's doing it, man. What this all means is that no matter where you are in the world, whether you're in Mongolia or South America or Europe or the northern wastes of Canada, sorry Canada, or the United States or anywhere else in the world, you are communing with your ancestors whenever you eat beef jerky. Do you want to feel a little bit like a pirate? Look no further than beef jerky. The word buccaneer is actually linked to beef jerky. Buccaneer is an, is an anglicization of the French word boucanier, which is derived from the word boucan, which means the grill that pirates used to dry pork over a fire so that they could carry it on long trips over the ocean. So yes, I am a pirate. Something that really interests me is that we still eat beef jerky today. In other words, beef jerky is not just a good solution for the problems of yesterday, it's also a pretty good solution for the problems of today. 
even when we have refrigeration and when you can buy your bison in chunks instead of getting it wholesale. Another cool thing about eating beef jerky is that it feels kind of like you're getting away with something. The first time I made beef jerky in my own home dehydrator, I took out a slice and I looked at it and I thought, this thing is not being refrigerated. It has also not been cooked. It's raw. And then I took a bite. So in summary, beef jerky is amazing. Eat it to commune with your ancestors. Eat it to be a pirate. Eat it because you need a protein intense, nutrient dense food when you're out biking. Eat it because it's delicious. But most importantly, eat it because it's amazing, because it's witch magic, because it's a miracle. And that's worth knowing and being grateful about. Hey, if you've ever made beef jerky before, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. If you liked the video, we've got lots more. We'd sure appreciate the like and subscribe. Thanks so much, and we will see you next time.